Hello YouTube, this is uh, Dynamic FA. Today, we continue making program for applicable programming. Last week, we teach the R pick R place and then we, we make it loop keep running. So let's check it out. Repeat main, yes. Start, and you go back to home position, and start moving. To pick up, down, pick it up, moving to place. As it continues. If we stop, we go auto, then we can go faster. Uh, because of the server motor yeah. okay start this is the programming we have done last time stop and we today we are going to make tool data because tool data if you something happened to the gripper then high change or change something x y in a tool center pointer then you don't need to reteach the whole position you just change the tool data then everything will be alright so that's that's why the programmer always keeping the tool data and then they use it they update when they upgrade the uh, tool center point okay then we need to go manual then program data and then you can see different types of da uh, to the data and select to data show data then you have only one tool data that's two geo two geo is a uh, basic tool data uh, when you buy the robot you turn power on then tool zero always will be there that's the basic tool data we click new and we're going to make new t i'm going to add small uh, the lowercase t for uh, represent tool data t gripper okay and okay then you can see T gripper and I already know the uh, the value you can I can change it straight away this one was have to be 150 okay and okay but it has uh, alarm uh, T load dot mess let's have a look at that T load mess is minus one group of weight can't be minus one so we we have to enter proper data okay now we have proper data so in the we, many menu jogging then we can see a robot moving i can show you what's the difference between two so you you see here if you see here one one orientation TCP here, the other orientation here, XYZ. So this one is showing tool, tool zero. This one is, uh, uh, this one is shows T gripper. So this one here, now when I jog it, it's currently tool zero. So let's have a look what, what's happening here. If I jog it, Ah, uh, sorry. You have to be enable and log it. Then the Y. This is a uh, X Y. Uh, y axis of two zero is not moving. You can check it. Okay. Because this is uh, the reason why this one is the tool has been selected to. Tool zero, but we have select. If we select the T 
T grip zero, then OK. Then uh, we can see here. Uh, let me see. We can we can see the angle here and zoom and remove the lower. Then now this position not moving. This I can show you. You can the green green uh, axis not moving. That's y axis. And also if we set it up this one the x x axis up down so if you use x axis then look at the x line it doesn't move at all this is tcp for two center point of uh, t gripper we you can set it up with the number uh, as long as you have to know the mechanical design you need to ask the mechanical designer how uh, where is the center point or where is the point uh, you you want to be a uh, focus on so we made a tool data but uh, i can show you define different way and uh, here say we change the number to zero and now it's we back back to zero but uh, i can set it up this one with point you can you can pick up the three uh, four point then you can set up uh tool data you need to have a uh, something sharp in the actual world i have prepared a uh, parts uh here to check the uh tcp this one here so you select the tool data and edit define so you need to set four point then you can set up the tool center point uh, linear mode Linear mode to coordination. Ah, uh, base. Okay. Okay, we're going to push the logo close to the, the two checkpoint a little bit up. Roughly here, I'm going to uh, modify position and uh, straight up, and I'm going to tilt, tilt that way, and back to linear.
okay modify position and up up and tilt okay and linear Okay, a little bit more. Okay. It's a bit of pain, but uh, if you don't know a value or you want to uh, get the correct value, then you have to do this procedure. Okay, then I turn the uh, angle again. In this time, in this side, and we okay. Not right, a little bit up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, bit all oh, down. What? Okay, now uh, modify position, okay. And okay, we have a little bit error because of the uh, I teach the robot by green. That's okay. So if we see the value, bit different, bit different. But um, anyway, I'm just want to show. I want to show you. I want to show you how you set up. You just pick position uh, with the different orientation, then you can get the TCP. So better to you have a sharp uh, point and better to have you sharp point on the robot too. Then you can easily turn and you can set up the TCP. This is mess. Uh, this is massive. Uh, uh, it, it's past uh, max, min error, maximum error. It was too high but anyway so this is the way you you can set it up a tcp and i'm just want to uh, change back to uh, the number uh, let me see uh, edit change value and let's change back to the original value this one was a 150. Okay. Thank you so much. This is uh, how you set up the tool center point uh, and also how you define 
and tool center point by teaching thank you bye